Hi friends, this is Leela. Welcome to my channel. Before closing up this entire project, so if you, for example, if you see here, I will refresh this page. Okay. And now le let's see, we will find some bug here in our project. In our entire project, we will be having one bug. What is that bug? Is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. If you try to see here, login, it's fine, it's working. So, login uh, has been called, it's working. Now, if you go to counter, if you go to the posts and everywhere, it is working fine. So, we are able to get the post.json file. And if I click here, I am able to call the post.json file, I am able to get the response. Fine, it's fine. It's okay. Now what I will try to do is I will try to click on the logout. If I click on the logout, if you try to see here we are here the echo again account sign in is calling again the post.json post.json file is calling. I don't know why it is calling here. And the logout when I click on logout, it is still in the login only. So it is it is not logging out in fact. If I click again logout, see again it is calling that login thing and again it is doing like this only. If I click on again here like this. So it is not logging in. So what is what is the problem? Why it is not logging out? Let's try to debug here. So you know that this is the uh, this login thing is calling. So that means this API is where it is existing. You know that it will be it is existing in the auth dot service dot ts. So we know that it is auth dot service dot ts, right? So here we will be having the login method. So this is the method it is calling. If you try to keep the debugger, we will try to test it. If you try to keep the debugger here, if you try to refresh it, this one. So now, if I click on the logout thing, so it will now. Now, if I click on here, sorry, I think if I refresh this one, okay. If I click on logout, it is logging out. Fine. If I see, see, this is the edge scenario. I don't know what is the edge scenario. Let's try to debug this one. So test at the rate test that one two three four five six and if I click on the login yeah it's debugger it's coming here okay it's logging in so I went to the post fine if I click on the logout so if I click on the logout see it is not coming to the auth service if I click here it is not coming to the auth service so that means here it is not coming to the auth service so what is the reason here it's happening Let's try to see the Redux thing also. See, it's a edge type scenario. So we do, ah, uh, yeah, we have the Redux thing also. If I click on the logout here, it's now it's logging in, it's logging out. If I try to refresh it again, if I click on the test at the rate test dot com, and one two three four five six. If I try and if I try to log in it again, okay. So all the actions has been fired. Now if I click on logout again, see here again logout has been fired. Web Again, set loading spinner, set error message, login success, set error message. So, these four are again firing it. Okay, these four are again firing up. Where it is firing? So, then this could be from the auth effects. So, here in the login only, we are doing this all the actions. So, here, so loading spinner, error message, format user, these all the things we are firing. So, that means this is the pipe action it is going on. So, what is happening here? Let's try to see. So, if we try to add the debugger here, so let's try to check it with the debugger. I will refresh this one, okay. I will log out, okay. It, now it's logged out perfectly. Now, if I try to see test at the rate test dot com 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. If I click on the login, okay, it went to the debugger, okay, fine. So, now if I click on the post and if I go to the counter and if I click on logout again, now debugger can see. So that means it is going into the auth service login. Here it is going debugger. Okay. So the debugger it is firing it again here. So what could be the reason? Maybe the login start is firing. So here if we try to see the reason why it is happening is <coughs> here we are uh, here this is firing right. So the problem what it is happening is in the auth selector when we are clicking on the logout right so when we are clicking on the logout what we are trying to make so now in the auth actions not in the auth effects so this is the logout right so where yeah here in the logout in the auth service logout in this logout action when this auto logout action is fired we are doing 
in auto logout we are making the user null okay so what will happen here when the user has made null so user is made null automatically the selectors who are using this these things will fire automatically okay why because the user data has been changed immediately the state will fire for example if you see if you try to see the debugger here okay if you try to see the debugger here now if you try to see here I click here so you got the debugger thing okay log out okay, again we got yeah okay so now see test test dot com one two three four five six okay I clicked on the log out so la user has been changed user has been added so that is the reason these are firing okay I went to the post so nothing has happened now I clicked on the log out okay now the user has become null so that is the reason user became null so that is the reason this one is firing why big that means the state that user data has been changed so that is the reason this selectors is firing so now we need to check wherever we are using this get user and get token is authenticated and get token so there it is calling so that is the reason this one is logout is not firing so let's go to the logout thing so if you go to the logout means it's nothing but the header dot component dot ts if you go here so there is nothing is authenticated this dot shows are select yeah it's not a problem so we, there is no need to unsubscribe or anything so where we will be using here so that means get token is the responsible guy so let's try to type get token auth selected is not yeah so here is the culprit so here you can see auth token interceptor so this is the auth token interceptor so which could be all the time so it is listening to the store dot select of get token so all the time it is listening to the store dot select of get token and pipe it is doing the next dot handle okay so that is the reason it is firing the next dot handle so that's why whatever the HTTP requests that are called so automatically those are calling it again so now here get token get token when it will be called here so now what it will happen is get token when it will be called is whenever the state user has been changed immediately whenever the state has been changed immediately the state user will be called so that is the reason here what i can say here the state select is be firing so here what we need to do is we need to tell only one time so after getting the token so you dismiss so we need to tell you dismiss this one so what we need to tell is take off one okay so please take it as only one time or uh, uh, afterwards just go away so now if i try take off one okay so now what i can do is so if i try to do the login here we can remove the debugger so we have removed the debugger yeah we have removed the debugger now if i try to click on login okay now we will try to do the inspect element i will try to keep it as like this okay so let's see the network calls yeah now test the red test dot com one two three four five six login okay so successfully logged in so here we'll we'll be able to see so we'll keep it down only okay posts and everything i'm able to access post update posts everything i'm able to access fine it's working fine okay so if i click on update it's working fine not a problem <coughs> now i'll click on the logout now it has been logged out see successfully now we are not able to do anything now if i click on the uh, sorry i click on the post means again it will come on this, huh? so now test at the rate test dot com and one two three four five six and if i try to log in again okay post i am able to get the post data and if i click on counter again fine no problem i am again i am able to get the post data if i click on update i am able to get the post data if i click on update again i am able to get the update the post and if i click on add post i am able to add the post so if i click on add post so i am able to successfully add the post if i delete the post i am able to successfully delete the post so now if i go to the post and, and if i click on the logout it is working fine see so because of the interceptor we we got the problem so here the select token we have took only once so now what we need to do is we need to we need to tell that to take only once don't ever listen to like that only so okay so when we keep on like this so automatically the observables will become go and going on going on it will become double okay so this is the these are some of the edge cases scenarios where you need to be taking care of okay so this is how we will be fixing the bug 
so we have fixed the login thing and all those things so now the entire application is working fine without any problem now in now in the next video what we'll try to do is we'll try to see the router store so now in the ngrx if you try to see ngrx.io we have completed in the docs if you try to see state we have completed store store data tools fx we have completed these three things are completed now we will try to see about the router store the router store is nothing but what we can see is uh, it is nothing but the routing when we are navigating from one route to another so we actions will be uh, fired so we have actions will be triggered so we will check this one how how it will be useful the router store will be useful in managing the state and when we are navigating the route how it will be useful we will try to see it in the next video okay if you have any doubts or any suggestions please post the comments below to this video and if you like this video please do support me by subscribing to my channel thank you